Hi there. Welcome to day five of our restorative yoga challenge. I would love to hear from you in the comments if you've practiced all five days with us, or even if you've just tried a couple of practices to let us know what your experience has been. I'm hoping that you've experienced some rest, even though staying still isn't necessarily easy for many. And practicing restorative yoga regularly, we can recover from all of the other things we love to do on court, as well as give our minds a break it so craves as these opportunities for stillness seem rare until we make the habit of making time to be with our body and our breath. Let's get to our final pose, the grand finale. In this one, we're going to mimic Kalindi Dinifer, as you might've seen on the original announcement for this challenge. And we're going to be practicing a supported back bend with some options for the legs. All you need for this practice is your mat, a couple of firm pillows, and a blanket, and having a timer would also be helpful so that you can completely relax once you're set up in the pose. So let me go ahead and show you how we'll take this grand finale pose, this back bend, and I'm using the foldable yoga mat folded all the way up. At home, you could use a very firm pillow or two or some folded blankets. And I also have some extra blankets here for support, you'll see what they'll be used for in a moment. So I have one on the back edge of my support that's going to serve as a pillow for my head. Not all of you will need that, but if you find that your head spills backward, you'll definitely want that extra support beneath your head. And then I'm gonna go ahead and sit right up against that support. Some of you will want to be right up against it. If the low back feels a little jammy in the pose, you could come an inch or two away. This will make more sense once you come down. And then I'm just gonna have my extra blanket roll by my side, and I'll show you why in a moment. So I'm gonna lower myself down. First few moments are for adjusting. Again, finding my spacing to feel even on the support of my mat my pillows, whatever I'm using. And one option is to be right here with the knees bent, the feet on the ground. Okay, another option is to, I'll show you what blanket number two is for. If I want to bring the soles of my feet together, this is called cobbler's pose or supported cobbler's pose, I can use this blanket roll, see how I have it nice and long on top of my feet and underneath my legs so that my hips have a little more support. My legs don't feel like they have to hold themselves up. I'm going to lower myself all the way down. So this is another way of practicing this back bend. Some of you might find that really nice for the inner thighs. Great for the tennis players, right? We have a lot of tension along the insides of the thighs as well. And then lastly, you could draw the legs together and use the support of that blanket as a support beneath your knees if you prefer to extend your legs all the way out. Okay, so basically set yourself up so that you feel even and comfortable in the pose. You see me adjusting here. And then you'll set your smart timer. You can hold it, again, two minutes minimum, maybe 10 minutes. Sometimes I practice this pose for about 20 minutes. So it just kind of depends on what time you're working with. You'll do your best to be present in the pose, being with all sensations, being with breath, and just reminding yourself to come back when your mind goes elsewhere. That is the practice of restorative yoga. So a lot of meditative qualities to this practice since you're not being asked to do all the time it's that practice of bringing yourself back to where you are in the moment. So I really hope that you enjoyed this restorative yoga challenge presented by myself, Play Tennis Practice Yoga, and Kalindi Dinifer of On Court, Off Court, and Foldable Yoga Mat. Please let us know what your experience was. If you enjoyed the challenge, who knows? We could perhaps do a future challenge. So let us know. We would love your feedback. And please follow along with us by keeping up with our YouTube channels and uh, by checking us out online on our social channels. And in the meantime, happy practicing.